and today my friend is my dad. Hey! Hi dad. Hello. <laughs> okay, so today um, dad's going to show us how to make a monkey knot door stop. So it's a monkey knot but big enough to hold the door open. Correct? Indeed. Correct. Okay, so what do we need to make okay, this? Okay, we need a piece of nice rope. Do, 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 do. And it doesn't matter. About eight metres long. It doesn't matter what type of rope. It doesn't matter what type of rope. You need a reasonable thickness though. I suppose this is about half an inch thick, something like that. Eight metres. Anyway, we're going to tie a loop in the end. A loop. Okay. You can look through the loop. And the loop is going to end up being the hanging up bit. The bit that sticks up so you can move it around from door to door. Okay. So we've told a knot. Any old knot. Doesn't matter what knot. Now the knot's going to end up in side the monkey. Not, yeah, not. so he's like the, yeah. The okay, middle. so, and we're going to do it with six root loops around the uh, around the knot, okay? So we're going to start off with our loop, hold the knot roughly in our hand, and we're going to go around six times. Now we're going to go three on one side, two, three, and then we're going to go three on the other side of the loop and then the loop will come out in between our loops. Three, uh, six even. Okay, there yeah, we go. No. Now then, we're going to turn it around so we can hold it like that. Wait, can you stop now... it? I'm not ready yet. Well, why not? <laughs> because I got in a pickle. Well, sort yourself out, girl. Right, wait a minute. Okay, three, it's because my rope's all tangled, look. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. What? Oh, shake it out. Shake it out. Woo, woo. Okay. Ah! Come on, come on. Go. Excellent. Okay, turn it on the side so you can see through the six loops. What side have you put your loop? Well, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, any old six. So I've got the rope coming down the bottom. Now, I'm going to go around these loops six times. One, two, three. I'm all tangled up now as well. I'll take it all back. Two, three, oh. four, five, <laughs> six. Okay, two, so we've got six the other way. Three. And we've got them in the middle. Four. Five. Six. Okay, now we're going to take our loose end, and where we've got the six here, we're going to go through the hole that is made between the ones we've just done and the ones we originally did. So where are we going? Through the hole. Which what, what one where? So where you came round for your last time. Through. To go back round and through. And then that end we're also going to go back through here. Again, and now we've gone all the way round once, and we're going to go round another five times to make six loops in the opposite direction. A, a little close up so everyone can see. Close up, time. so here we go. So we've got once around now, so we've got the six in that direction, the six in that direction, and we've got the one going through the middle. So we're going to carry on with the one through the middle. around hopefully six times. Okay now I've run out of rope so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the end that I started and I'm going to work it all the way around so I get the rope coming out the end again. So I'm going to go back to my original knot, which is here, and find the bit of rope that comes out of the knot, 
which is somewhere in here. Not that one. It's that one there. And I'm going to start working that one around, just tightening it up a little bit as I go. Not too much at this point. Now what we're also going to try and do is make our loops lie one after the other side by side. Nice and flat. Nice and flat. Correct, Emma. How are you doing? Right, I've done six times round. Excellent. Excellent. So what do I want to do now? I'll just okay. wait for you. I've got lots of rope now, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. That'll be my six. Now I've got to try and get this through here, but obviously I've tightened it up a bit, so it might not go very easy. There we go. I might be lucky. Okay, so there we go. We've now got six. All the way round. So now we just need to go back round again, tighten it up nice and tight. And um, then when we've done that, we can get rid of this end. So that's what I need to do, yeah? Yeah, so this knot is supposed to be in the middle, middle. So you need to find the end of here first and poke it out like that. Okay, so pull that through. Get him in. Get that in. Get in yourself in there. Okay. So, right, then I'll just start working around with that one until it gets nice and tight. So, just for a quick recap while Dad sorts out mine. Start with your knot, then you do six wraps around your hand, then you do six wraps around those knots, then you thread through six times. Is that correct? Correct. And then you tighten up. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat and Angel. Oh, whoops. Of course, if you don't want it as a doorstop, you want it as something else. Perfect for a nautical themed room. Yes. Or even pirates. Pirates. Arr. Yeah. Oh no, that's cowboys. Um. Yeah. Great presents for men. Man present. Would you want that as a present? No. I'd love one of those as a present. <laughs> Stop all my doors. I have seen these in... Was it Habitat or H&M? One of the two. Quite expensive it was. And so for the price of a piece of rope, you can create something very on trend. I just thought it was for monkeys. Do what with <laughs> something with their Store nuts. their <laughs> store their bananas inside. Steady. Right, there we go. So we got the end. Oh, my nice one back. Right, okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do with the end, because we don't want to have a dangly thing, so we want it to sit on the floor, is we're gonna cut the end off as short as we can and then we're going to stick that back inside the monkey hop uh, not and hide it. The monkey hop? The monkey hop. But what we're also <laughs> going to do is we've got a bit of electrical tape, not really the right colour but I thought white would be good because you'd see it better on camera. So we're just going to uh, tape around the end and this is so that when we cut it, it, it won't doesn't all, all go. unravel. <laughs> It'll just be a bit tidier. So we're going to go to Emma. And then we're going to get the sharp knife. Obviously you need to be careful with sharp knives. And if you're a child you must be attended with a knife. And we're going to cut. Or even if you are an unresponsible adult, make sure yeah. someone can help you. Through there like that. There we go, that's our loose end. Perhaps you can do that. Unfortunately you can't really make a monkey knot without throwing away a bit of rope. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Ow! Okay, so now we've got our end, now we're going to hide our end inside our it. knot. So we're just going to poke it in mm -hmm. anywhere we can. Okay, so I've just finished poking that in there 
cover it over, reform it a bit so it's a nice monkey knot, bash the bottom so it's flat and then it'll sit on something, stop your door, monkey knot, door stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our how to make a monkey knot crafting with friends. Thank you, Dad. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. 